actually just click on a measure, hit Apple T, and you're going to put in some text, and we'll write trombone one, and then just drag that text over here. So you see what I'm doing? Let me do it here. Click on a measure, Apple T puts in text, trombone two. So there's the fix. So it's better to just click on a measure and hit Apple T. Drag that over to there. Then maybe make a copy of that by holding down the option key. You know, highlight it, hold down the option key, and click makes a copy. And just think of the option key as a copy key. Like if I wanted to copy a measure, I could just click on the measure, hold down the option key, and then I can get that here. I can also highlight that measure, hold down the Apple key, and arrow up, or arrow down, or arrow down, and I could change octaves. So those are quick ways for copying, and then all we'll do is double click here, and just change that to a two. All right, so now uh, we've got this stuff in the way we want, and then let's reset this stuff a little bit so it kind of matches up. Mostly looks pretty good. Um, you can go to your view section here, this tab, and uh, we can we can zoom in like 87%. We can go to 50% so you can see the page, and then of course I can uh, bring the window out a little bit too. But um, this view section is nice for a couple of reasons. Sometimes I find working in panorama view where you can just slide across and work linearly is really nice way to compose. And then of course you can go to the zoom feature here, click that arrow at the bottom of it and just, you know, fit the, the page to the window so that you can see it a little bit more uh, and you get an idea how it's going to look. So there you go. That's a, a nice way of doing this. Um, Another thing that you can do here, and let me, we'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see a little bit better. These double bars here, since this stuff isn't going to show, one thing you could do is you can erase those, all right, then click on that last bar line, go to the Notations tab, that'll be the third tab in, click bar line, and make it a final. All right, and then do the same thing here. Highlight that bar line, hit delete, and then while it's still purple there, or highlighted so it is purple, and then hit final. That way, all three of these lines have actual final bar lines on them, and the stuff in gray here you actually won't see when we print this out. So there's the document right there. 